Hey guys, it's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I wanted to take a look back on some of the worst changes ever made in Rainbow Six Siege. Before we start the video though, 60.5% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you like daily Rainbow Six Siege content, consisting of everything from tips and tricks to gameplay videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And before we get into my list, I'd love to know what you think has been the worst change ever made to Rainbow Six Siege. Let me know down in the comments and we can talk about it. Anyways though, as I said before, in this video, we're going to take a look back on some of the worst changes ever made in Siege. I do want to say before we get into this list though, that I don't want this video to come off as hateful or negative towards the developers or Ubisoft. The work they have done for this game has been amazing. Siege was at one point actually a dead game, so they took something which everyone thought to be a lost cause and actually turned it into the game that we all love today. Despite all of its issues, I'm sure it's safe to say that we all love Siege deep down. So please don't take this video as a big negative, and most importantly, please do not attack Ubisoft or any of the developers. Anyways though, this list is in no particular order, and I'm sure it'll be very controversial, but that's great because we can all have our different opinions. So firstly, one of the biggest changes that I miss to this day has definitely got to be the resetting mechanic. So for those of you who weren't around for this, you were basically able to shoot your teammate, usually through a wall or something like that, to down them and then pick them back up. You would do this because back then, before the change, you would actually be revived to 50 health instead of the 20 it is now. This was great because you weren't as likely to die to a single Kafka trap and you still had a pretty good chance to win another gunfight. I think instead of 20 health, you should be brought back up to 35 or so. It doesn't sound that significant, but it would make it to where you would actually tank at least one shot from either Mozzie's Roni or Valk's MPX, which both do 26 damage and are played a lot. The next change is something that I really disagree with to this day, and that's balancing operations operators based off of what their weapons are instead of their gadget. So I won't be talking much about any specific operator, but for example, Buck losing his ACOG or Sledge losing his Hollow. There are many operators you can bring up as examples, but I'll just give Buck and Sledge as my main one. In my opinion, it's much better to balance an operator based around their utility and gadgets rather than the gun they're using. So when we saw the new options get introduced to the game, I was actually super excited until I realized that they were fully replacing some options on some operators. I don't think that an ACOG or a 2X or 1.5 5x scope is really going to make an operator OP, but what it will do is possibly take away a preferred optic for that player. So if you were someone who loved the old hollow on sledge like myself, you're now stuck with the new hollow. So what I would like to see instead is every operator who has access to the 1x scope, such as the red dot, hollow, and reflex, should also have access to all of the 1x scopes. That means both versions of the red dot and hollow and all of the other 1x scopes. Then give the ACOGs back to those who had lost it before the new optics. Next up is the old movement. I know that this one's going to be pretty controversial, but just bear with me for a second. If you weren't able to play back then when it was a thing, I honestly kind of feel bad for you. It was so satisfying getting those quick beat kills and just mastering the movement mechanics. Now the game feels a lot slower and less aim driven, which sort of sucks because at the end of the day, Siege is actually an FPS game. I miss the days where mechanical skill played a much bigger factor in winning a game. Nowadays it's much more about who has the best traps or ridiculous OP operator on their team. That of course goes into some other issues I have with Siege, but besides that I really do miss the old movement mechanics. I think if Siege were to get a higher tick rate server like CSGO and other FPS games, I think a lot of the issues that people had with it really won't be that much of a problem. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Goat Guns. Be sure to check the link in the description for 10% off using code SHOCK to get your very own Goat Gun. Goat Guns is basically these miniature model guns that have a bunch of moving parts. They're really high quality and realistic. I personally have the Barrett and the Golden AK. These are really, really cool. So if you're a gun enthusiast or you just like the guns in Siege and you want to have one in real life, just a miniature model of it, then be sure to check that link in the description. Again, you using code SHOCK for 10% off to get your very own gun. Moving on though, we have my fourth change, which I'm actually not a big fan of, and that's the new fragment system with explosives. Since I don't actually know what it's called, I'll instead show a quick little clip, which is really old by the way, but it also perfectly explains what I'm talking right. about. I'm in the basement. I'm in the basement. Coming down. Oh, dead. Yeah, Check this chat. <laughs> Alright, so let me explain that really quickly. So basically, my teammate called that what was on the bottom of West Main Stairs on the old chalet. So I thought to myself, alright, I'll big brain this and I'll throw the nade up the hatch, down the stairs. And it didn't quite go down that way. And I threw it right at the roof. 
Now, I've played vertical on that site hundreds of times, and where I threw my nade was 100% unbreakable surface. So, with the old explosive system, my friend would never have died standing on the unbreakable surface. With the new system, however, that's not so much the case. I don't think that this is game breaking or anything, but it can be super annoying, and I feel as if it was really unneeded. Alright, to end this list, my last bad change I have to talk about today is the new Uplay Connect. In its current state, it's been completely unusable for me. I have to leave Siege and open the Uplay app, search my friend's name, open a text chat through the Uplay app, and then accept their invite that way. The in-game Uplay Connect client does not work for me whatsoever. It freezes and is overall just super laggy and inconsistent. What's even worse is that when I'm streaming and I open the client, it completely crashes my game, so I have to then restart my game, and it's just really overall bad. This made it super inconvenient to not only invite people, but also to join people. So this was something that I feel like was just really unneeded, and it's adding a bunch of downtime, especially while I'm streaming. That ends my list though, and again, I don't want this video to come off as hateful to Ubisoft or any of the developers. I love Siege, and I always have, and that will never change. Every game has its issues and flaws just like these, so nothing is ever perfect. I've been playing the game now since release, so to see how far the game has come, it's actually sort of amazing. Ubisoft has done a great job overall, and I'm super excited to see what the future holds for Siege. That's going to be all for this video, though. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, comment down below which of these you agree with and disagree with. I'd love to have a conversation with you all about this. If you have any questions regarding getting better at Siege, you can check my tips playlist. This is something that I get asked about pretty much every video, so that's down in the description. And if you have any further questions that you also want answered, be sure to check out my Twitch, which is also linked down in the description. I stream daily there. Anyways, though, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. Op 4, last operator standing. Let's go, baby! Is he window again? Oh, he's dead. He's, he's dead. He's unconscious. There's, uh, there's two armor repel shock. There's one CC window now. We just repel them bell. There's another one on repel. You got an air driving us. No, that was a crazy clip if I hit that. Oh, pain. Loading bag. One sink or bunker. Push him. Killed him. That was sink. Here we go. Op four eliminated. Just gotta know where they are, bro. Gotta know the common spots.